Hey all, welcome to Shatrek. This is Raj here, friends. Uh, today I'm going to talk about a therapy called as ASC22 for HIV. And this comes to you from a company called Acetis. It's a Hong Kong listed company. It's based in China. Uh, let's take a quick look at the website uh, because I'm not familiar with this company. So I'd like to take you to the website first. We'll look at uh, the background of the company and then I'll talk about what this therapy does, how it works and what is the stage of its uh, clinical trial. So let's go to the company website first. As you can see here, this is the company website. Uh, the name of the company is uh, Acletis. It's not Acletis, it's uh, Acletis. I would say Acletis, A-S-C-L-E-T-I-S, Acletis. And Acletis has got a huge pipeline out here. We'll talk about the pipeline later on. Uh, but uh, the company is uh, based in uh, Hong Kong. Uh, I mean, it's based in China, but uh, it's listed in Hong Kong. Uh, and uh, out here in their introduction page, they are saying uh, uh, Acletis is an innovative R&D driven biotech listed on the Hong Kong Stock Exchange, covering the entire value chain from discovery and development to manufacturing and commercialization. So they are right from the beginning of the chain to the end. And it's led by a management team with deep expertise and a proven track record. Acetis focuses on three therapeutic areas with unmet medical needs for a global, uh, from a global perspective: viral diseases, non-alcoholic uh, steatopasis or NASH, and oncology. So those are the three areas. Uh, and um, uh, ASC22 is uh, dubbed by them uh, as a functional cure along with CHB. Uh, so they have uh, two ASC22 uh, combinations. I'll I'll show that to you in the pipeline at a later stage. But first. Um, I wanted to give you an idea of what this company is all about. And uh, if you look at uh, investors out here, uh, monthly return for investors, they have the financial disclosures out here. They have some presentation section, which is empty. And if we were to look at about us and go into management team, so Jinzi, J. Wu, uh, PhD is the founder, chairman, and uh, CEO, and um, you have uh, four members. And um, yeah, so I think uh, instead of uh, putting more time out here, I'd rather uh, get back to the topic at hand, which is ASC22. <music> Well, friends, now that you know about the company, let's talk about their ASC22 therapy. In order to understand how ASC22 works, we need to understand the concept of programmed cell death and how this phenomenon affects the CD4 T cell. I'll attempt explaining this in two different ways. In HIV patients, CD4 T cells, uh, also known as CD4 T lymphocytes or helper T cells, are the main target of the HIV virus. The virus binds to the CD4 receptor on the surface of these cells and enters them leading to their uh, infection and subsequent destruction. While the death of infected CD4 T cells can occur through various mechanisms, the role of PD-1 or programmed cell death protein 1 is more relevant to the immune response during chronic HIV infection. PD-1 is an immune checkpoint receptor expressed on the surface of T cells, including CD4 T cells. The function of uh, this is to regulate the immune response and prevent excessive activation of T cells to avoid collateral damage to the body's own tissues. However, in chronic viral infections like HIV, the virus can exploit the PD-1 pathway uh, to evade the immune response and establish persistent infection by dumbing down the response of the CD4 T cell. During HIV infection, the virus can upregulate the expression of PD-1 on the surface of CD4 T cells when PD-1 in, uh, interacts with its uh, ligands, that is PD-L1 and PD-L2, on other uh, immune cells, it sends inhibitory signals to the CD4 T cell, effectively damping down the immune response. This process is known as T cell exhaustion. T cell exhaustion in HIV is associated with several consequences. Exhausted CD4 T cells become less effective in fighting the virus, which allows HIV to persist and replicate within the body. As CD4 T cells play a critical role in coordinating the immune response, their dysfunction can lead to increased vulnerability to opportunistic infections in HIV patients. Uh, 
The altered immune response due to T-cell exhaustion can result in chronic immune uh, activation and inflammation contributing to disease uh, progression and complications. Understanding the role of PD-1 and other immune checkpoints has led to the development of immune-based uh, therapies such as checkpoint inhibitors which aim to block the PD-1 pathway and restore the immune response against HIV-infected cells. It's essential to note that CD4 T cell depletion in HIV infection is a multifaceted process involving direct uh, viral uh, cytopathic effects and the deregulation of the immune system uh, response. PD-1 uh, plays a crucial role in uh, immuno uh, dysfunction and exhaustion, but it is just one aspect of the complex interplay between the HIV virus and the immune systems during a HIV infection. Stated differently, in HIV-infected patients, enhanced PD-1 expression of, on T-cells uh, correl uh, correlates with T-cell depletion as evidenced by the reduced virus-specific uh, proliferative capacity and uh, decreased cytokine expression of CD4 T-cells. Targeting PD-L1 uh, drugs to block PD-1 slash PD-L1 signaling may promote the secretion of antiviral cytokines and achieve HIV clearance for a longer period of time. The mechanism of action of ASC22 is to competitively block the binding of PD-1 molecules to PD-L1. Through its antigen binding region with a high affinity for uh, HPD-L1, uh, ASC22 uh, achieves this uh, uh, competitive binding, thereby stimulating an innate or adaptive immune response with sustained T cell act activation. This study was uh, conducted to evaluate whether ASC22 combined with uh, chidamide uh, in uh, HIV infected patients with antiviral uh, suppression could shrink the viral reservoir. So what ASC22 tries to do is to reduce the viral reservoir, keep the T cell, infected T cells activated for a longer period of time and prevent them from getting uh, fatigued uh, and uh, by blocking their uh, PD-1 interface. And uh, that seems to have worked in uh, some of the earlier tests. Uh, Asceltis Pharma Inc. and uh, Shanghai Public Health uh, Clinical Center completed the first patient dosing in clinical study of PD-L1 antibody ASC22 in combination with uh, chidamide for uh, functional cure of uh, HIV infection on 3rd July 2022. Since then, plenty of time has passed, so I'm pretty sure that very soon in the public domain we'll find the study results. The phase, uh, This phase two study uh, for which you can find an entry in clinicaltrials.gov with the identifier NCT0533143. I'll put it on the screen here as you can see. Uh, it's a randomized, single-blind, single uh, placebo-controlled, multi-center clinical trial in China to evaluate the safety and efficacy of ASC22 for uh, treatment of HIV-1 infection at the dosage of 1 mg per kilogram or 2.5 mg per kilogram or placebo in combination with ART once every four weeks during 12-week uh, treatment and 12-week follow-up. Subject of ASC22 will be subcutaneously administered with 1 mg per kilogram or 2.5 mg per kilogram plus standard ART, including integrase inhibitors for 12 weeks. Uh, in placebo arm, subjects will be given 0.9% saline plus ART for 12 weeks. The changes of CD4 or CD8 ratio from baseline will be recorded at week 4 week 8 and week 12 as the primary outcome measures. By blocking PD-1 slash PD-L1 pathway, ASC22 is expect expected to potentially restore HIV-1 specific immunity and clear the latent HIV virus. A phase 2B study is also uh, happening in parallel which is aimed at hepatitis B patients and is also underway with encouraging results. I'll bring more details about that in a different video. Here is a look at the uh, SLTS uh, Pharma pipeline. So here we are in the pipeline page of uh, SLTS Pharma. And you can see that they have a whole lot of uh, candidates. Um, they are, have three main sections, viral diseases, uh, NASH slash PBC, and uh, oncology. So we are more interested in the viral diseases area, and we are looking for uh, ASC22. And... Uh, 
And you will see here we have two entries for ASC uh, 22. And um, the first one uh, is in phase two, uh, very advanced stage. And uh, the second one that you see here for uh, ASC 22 uh, is uh, also in phase two, but slightly lagging behind. This is the one for HIV functional cure. And uh, we should have one more at phase 2b. And that would be for hepatitis B. So I think uh, this uh, PDL1 uh, target for CHB functional cure, it seems to be the one which is for um, hepatitis B. I'm not very sure about it, but um, uh, that's what it seems like right now. I'll make corrections in any subsequent videos. But suffice to say, this seems to be a really big company with a whole lot of uh, uh, active pipeline items. And uh, as you saw out there, we are uh, poised at an exciting stage with uh, ASC 22 uh, for both HIV as well as hepatitis B. So I'm thinking that by the end of the year, probably we should see some movement. I do not know how many moving parts are out there, but it's a multi-location uh, uh, clinical trial, so we should give them some extra time for collating and uh, understanding the results. So most probably by first quarter of 2024, we may have some information. But if I have any press release from this company, I'll definitely bring it to you. But friends, as I do not speak Mandarin, I don't understand how to read the uh, uh, Mandarin or um, Cantonese script. I don't know if they are the same script. So if any of our viewers are watching from China and if you have any extra information about this company, I request that you please mention that in the comment section uh, along with your email address. I'll reach out to you and maybe you can give us more information so that the rest of the audience can benefit from it. So that's what uh, I have for you today. And what I would like to do is to understand why they consider this to be a functional cure and also whether it's a once and done uh, therapy or if there is going to be a frequent uh, need for injections on an ongoing basis. So once I find all that, I'll get back to you. I haven't found that in whatever uh, literature I was able to scan. Maybe it's available in uh, Mandarin or Cantonese. So those of you who can speak the language and if you find anything uh, that answers these two questions, again, please mention that in the comment section. I would really like to reach out to you and uh, get to understand uh, what it is so that we can bring it to the rest of the audience. And uh, I still need to um, uh, read up more on this therapy. I was in a hurry to bring this out to you because uh, I did not know about this therapy at all. And I was absolutely surprised when one of our uh, good subscribers brought this to my attention. And since it's such a promising cure, I thought a video has to come immediately. So this was my early stab at uh, explaining what ASC 22 is. And um, I will come up with a video again with more information, with a more refined understanding of how this uh, therapy works. So I would say that stay tuned for uh, future videos on this topic uh, in this channel. That's all for now, my friends. And I'll be back with you soon with the next video. I'll catch up with you again. Bye for now.